I need to finish here first. I need to finish here first. Help! Do you hear that? Quick, we have to open this door. The door's too strong and the lock is too solid to break with bare hands. If I cut those ropes, the curtains will fall and block the attacker's view. This table could serve as cover. Watson, I'll try to reach those curtains to close them. Cover me. Watson, cover me! Watson, come here. He's behind the screen. <coughs> Our assailant escaped using this rope. A statue was once here, now it's missing. The iron mounting rod is broken. The surface is damaged. No! Don't kill me! Calm down. It's over now, it's gone. You? Oh. But why are you here? You're not doctors, are you? No. Well, you're half right. Shall we remove these masks? Your true name is Albeit, is it not? You were a member at Charles Yellingham's club. Yes, I was. Can you tell us what happened here? After your visit at the hospital, I quickly returned home. I was lying there on the sofa and... and felt... an evil presence in the room. An evil presence? Never mind. It's probably the fever. Or perhaps a living statue? Yes. It was one of the double statues. I saw its shadow. I believed that it was searching for me, that it wanted to kill me. It was horrible. As in Zacharias's murder, the statue came to life when its intended victim appeared in front of it. I must examine your residence. It may hold some clues. Tell us about your expedition to Guatemala 14 years ago. It was in my former life. 
What really happened there? You were said to have died. I was ill with a terrible fever. I asked them to leave me there. I can't remember how, I only have flashes of memory, but by some miracle I survived. I left an eye and one arm behind. It took me time, but at last I managed to return to London. Why do you use a false name? That expedition signaled the end of my career, and my very life as I had known it. I changed my name and my address. Now I'm weak and useless and alone. I'm a walking dead man. Not for long. <laughs> Perhaps this was it. It was my curse to fade away little by little. Tekunu man's revenge. You are aware of Zacharias's murder, are you not? Yes, and quite aptly I read that he was killed with a spear. Aptly? Well, he practiced archaeology almost as though it were a sport, seeking adrenaline. Imagine his state of adrenaline when he died. Him being the prey. And who would have been the hunter? Takanu man? Whoever, whatever. It'll soon be over for me at any rate. This bed is very small. Albeit's wife and son, I presume. This model forms a part of another, larger model. 1894. This model was created after the expedition to Guatemala. The interior seems well designed, but I cannot see it properly. There's a little bed in the small room. It's been used. Well, it is for my son, Gulliver. After my official death, my wife and he left for Glasgow. Upon my return, I installed this room. So they know about you? My boy Gulliver visits occasionally. But I wonder, what is the life of a crippled father? <laughs> they will lose me again. Mr. Albeit, what is this? How? It's impossible. How did you find it? Answer me. Seventeen years ago, I built a model of Tekken Man's temple. We stored it inside the club's globe before leaving for the expedition. I've no idea if it's still there. While in Guatemala, I had dreams about a missing part. A pyramid. Then, when we entered the temple, I experienced vivid visions. Wait a minute. You entered the temple? Well, yes, we did. And we found the pyramid from my visions. But I was too weak. I was unable to solve the mystery of its entrance. I failed there. I always wanted to understand why. So upon my return... You rebuilt this final part according to your visions and... Nothing. 
But I'm dying, and at least my son will see that I did my best to complete my life's work. So, you believe in the curse? Let's not talk about it. I've passed the case on to Inspector Lestrade. It's better that the press laugh at him than me. But why are we here? If this curse is the cause of Zacharias' death, then it may strike again. I've requested of the authorities that Marley's foundry be used to destroy all of the Mayan statues that can be found in London. What? Destroy all of them? My god.
So, you believe in the curse? Well, I have no other explanation, but I beg you to keep the outcome of this case a secret. No one needs to know my failure. As you wish, Holmes. But why are we here? If this curse is the cause of Zacharias' death, then it may strike again. I have requested of the authorities that Marley's foundry be used to destroy all of the Mayan statues that can be found in London. What? Destroy all of them? My god. Watson, stay alert, and you'll need to be quiet. This door is securely locked. I must find another way in.
The balcony doors open. I'm here. Can you let me in? A Mayan pyramid. A slot. It appears to be part of some mechanism. Obviously for a dagger. Mayan period, I think. I'll need a dagger to work the mechanism. There's a recurring theme that connects all of these sculptures. Mali is obviously an avid student of mechanics. I hope this dagger fits. Another statue of Takun Uman. So, Bernard Marley built a mechanical globe. This globe has space inside. It should be possible to open it. Marley dismantled these alarm clocks for their parts. 
Hmm. Locked. Hmm. Locked. It can move. But a part of the mechanism is missing. Be careful, Watson. Unless you want to be speared by Takun Uman. This part is in solid gold. It's worth a fortune. The statue is in three parts. Only the gold is original. Marley must have reconstructed the other two. A piece of a map in metal. This object evidently connects to something else. It's almost daylight. The workers will be here soon. It's time to leave. What's happened? Did someone else die? Did Tekunuman strike again? No. Which you know very well. Because you are the killer arm of this so-called curse. Me? No, I'm not. I don't believe in any of that rubbish. I have no choice but to hand you over to the justice, Mr. Marley. What's happened? Did someone else die? Did Tekun Uman strike again? Tekun Uman has been avenged, Mr. Marley. It's over now. The fear is over. You have only to follow us. Follow you? But why? Don't worry. You're not responsible. There are specialists who will take care of you. They will help you. No! I'm not crazy! No! It's you who's the lunatic!
I heard that Zacharias was killed by the statue's spear. <laughs>